there it is. The Mount Vision. Okay, so here it is, the Rim Bikes Mount Vision. I love this bike. It, it's a real standout bike. Like, just look at this design. It's it's crazy looking. Um, it's kind of either like a, you love it or hate it when you first look at it. I get a lot of people thinking it's an e-bike, so that's my only beef with the looks of it is just like, some people just don't like the look of this. I personally love it, but I get on the trails and people are like, oh, is that an e-bike? Or they just assume, oh, how's the e-bike here? And then you have to explain to them like, hey, it's actually, it's not an e-bike. It's a, it's a normal bike. It's just got the, the three act or the, the R3 act nailed suspension platform. And it's just really crazy looking. But what I love about this platform here is the chain stays are nice and short, so they're only 420 mils long, which is crazy. That's like, if you any of you guys remember the old Demo 8s from like 2012, 13, that's how short they were, and they just, they manualed so well, and they're lots of fun. So it kind of reminds me of like the old Demo 8 days in the back end, nice and short there. But at the same time, it's like more stable than some downhill bikes I've even rode, because like you have all your weight down here, and you have this this pivot down right in here and it keeps the bottom bracket nice and low and really stable so you can be like ripping something full speed and feel like you're nice and stable on a downhill bike the rear end sticking to the ground but you're still popping around and manually and easy because you got the really short rear end so that's like a really really cool thing about it that I love and enough about the frame itself let's look at some of the parts here so I'm running the new 12 speed XTR group set new derailleur cassette, running the XTR hubs, um, XTR shifter, and then the XTR four piston brakes, the new enduro brakes, and these are so sick. They feel like really powerful Saints or something. So yeah, you definitely get that really good quality group set there. And I've never owned actually anything as nice as XTR before. So it's just like, I jump on one of my other bikes and I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Like my air bike feels so bad compared to this. So I kind of wish I had XTR kits for all my bikes now, but it's just like, it, it makes everything so much better. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite part about the whole group set on here is that XTR kit is just unreal. And then the wheels are, they've been great. I got the XTR hubs on there with the We Are One Agent rims. And these rims are just, yeah, these have been awesome. They've gone through a lot in the last month. So I first built this bike up, I think at the very start of March, like March 2nd or something. Then I was off to Australia for two weeks, home for a few days, then into Israel for like two weeks. So I have barely been home and this bike's been being ridden like almost every day. So this morning we did a few little kind of tune-ups to it and it didn't need anything. After all that riding, I gave the wheels like a really basic true and that's all they needed. Everything else was perfect. These rims are just like bomb proof. And then I'm running the new Greg Menard Signature Maxxis tire, the Aga, Aga, or Asagai. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. I haven't, I just put it on this morning. And then the classic Minion DHF on the front. I'm running the, I'm running the EXO casing with tubeless just to keep it nice and light in the front. And then the downhill casing in the back just because after riding a lot of bike park stuff, like especially at Medina Bike Park where you're running like, Medina's like really steep and really high speed, so it hammers your bike. So I was feeling like I need the downhill casing on the rear just because it's not, <laughs> it's not holding up without it. And then I threw on the Duralux. I had the Suntour R-Run on there before and it was just a little too lightweight of a fork for bike park type riding. So I threw on the heavier weight fork because I plan on doing a lot of downhilling this week. The R-Run's normally fine, but just having that bit of extra, I guess, strength and stiffness is the way to go. And it's really like not much heavier. Like I don't even notice the weight difference jumping on the bike. So that's perfect. For other components, I'm running a Maxxis, or not Maxxis, I'm running a Chromeg DT seat, Trailmaster. I love these seats. I'm not even sponsored by Chromeg, but their seats are the shit. I run them all the time whenever I can. I don't have a seat sponsor. And then running DD components for now, the black label bar, and then I got the stem as well, as the DC pedals, which are really lightweight, thin pedals, which I love. And for grips, I'm running the Census Swayze lock-ons, 
These are nice. They're uh, really worn in. I, I love these grips. And I'm actually working on my own grip soon with PNW components. So stay tuned for that because I've been working alongside the guys at PNW to kind of develop my ultimate grip. So they're going to be really similar to the Swayze's, like the way they feel, but just a few little different tweaks to them and like kind of my own take on how exactly I'd want a grip to feel. And then for PNW, for now, I only have the Bachelor Dropper Post on there as well as the Loam Lever and they feel amazing and I can't wait to get the new PNW bar and stem and pedals on there as well as my grips once they're ready. So that's the bike. It's um, honestly the best bike I've owned. Just the build on it and the way it rides, it's pretty amazing. And if you're a little wary about its looks, don't let that turn you off because it's honestly such an amazing suspension platform and a really fun bike. Really stable yet still really nimble and easy to throw around. So I can't think of many other bikes out there where you have that combination of things without any compromise. Aside from looks, if the looks aren't your thing, it's definitely an acquired taste, but I personally love it. I think it looks like a little mini downhill thrasher bike. So that's my bike check for this time and stay tuned because I'm getting the Hawk Hill built up soon and that's going to be awesome. It's going to be my nice little trail bike for the year. So stay tuned for that one and thanks for tuning in.